This is a basic introduction to UEFN and Verse. I have built a system that allows players to select their teams via teleporters. They are then able to reselect teams indefinitely using these teleporters. This system is a good first lesson in UEFN and Verse because it demonstrates how devices and code communicate. First, I'll diagram how I thought about the problem. I divided the inputs and outputs into four pieces, watching the teleporter and spawners for teleportation events, adding to and subtracting from teams, and updating the billboard. Thus, we have four pieces and the question is how to interact between them. The teleporter starts all the processes, then the team changing is done with code. To update the billboards, we're going to need to keep track of some state and watch the count of players on each team. These are the devices that I've added to my scene and written code for. First, I have two billboards and two teleporter devices. The teleporters are targeted at a third. Then there are three custom devices. The management devices are designed to manage which, te which team a player is on, and the counter device keeps track of how many players are currently on each team. The counter device also interacts with the billboards. The manager devices are each assigned a single teleporter to watch. They are subscribed to the on inter event, and I have a team ID attached to them. This is a diagram of the communication flow between the various components of the system. Now we'll cover the code. The code is written in a straightforward style to make it more approachable. However, as you improve at programming, I hope you will see flaws in the approach I have taken. The simpler device is the team management device. In this device, we set up the teleporter as editable. This allows you to change the teleporter. This device is listening to in the UEFN editor rather than in code. In the onBegin function, the teleporter is subscribed to. Subscribing to an event is analogous to listening to a challenge, channel, but a direct connection function that is called when a player enters a teleporter is the choose team function. This function gets the collection of teams in the game. It then tells the team player counter to run its decrement agent team count function. Afterwards, it adds the player to the team referenced in the team ID variable. It does this in an if block because the verse language requires certain functionality to be isolated into a decides context. Finally, it has the team player counter run its increment agent team count function. This is a diagram of increment agent team count. The function will have the first activity in the set of devices. It is called whenever a player is spawned. First, the agent team number is acquired by calling get agent team number. Then the team count for that team is incremented, and finally the billboards are updated. This basic flow is duplicated for decrement agent team count, so let's look at the code for the workflow. As I just covered, this device subscribes to a set of spawners. It is also called by the team management devices when a player enters a teleporter. It gets the collection of teams from the play space. Then it sets up a temporary variable for the player's team and loops through the teams to find the team number that refers to the player's current team. Then it returns the team number to the calling function. This function teaches an extremely important lesson. You don't need to understand it very deeply. I did not write this code. I found it online and it uses various advanced programming topics to get a specific task done. When you need to know, as a user, is that you send a player agent variable and get a team ID returned. After getting the team ID, the team count is incremented. The code for this is as simple as possible. You pass an integer representing a team ID, and the integer is compared to acceptable team IDs. The one it matches in it is increased. Then the billboards are updated to the current count of players on that team. So this lesson covered some basic code structure. The syntax for how I put it together is in the source, which you can download from the link in the description. If you want more tutorials like this, be sure to like and subscribe. There are codes for a few of my islands in the video description, and I'll be making more as time goes by. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.